Today's June 4th, it's Thursday. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to go to get some sun and get some fresh air. And to be honest, it's fun to go outdoors. A lot of the activities that I love to do are outdoor activities. And since no I was less active and I was less motivated. When you're literally the only person in the road. Oh my god. Welcome to Las Piñas. It's still early in the morning. Inagahan ko talaga yung gising ko to avoid as many people as I can. To be honest, I still have a lot of questions moving forward. Like, how can I interact with other people? When is it safe for me to play basketball again? Gano ka safe uh, to take yung public transportation? And what's next for me? I mean, those are the things that uh, I'm thinking about. I know, 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 Sasagot or my isip ko na yung tama sagot. Uh, I think para malaman ko yung sagot doon, I just have to live through it. <sighs> Those are the uncertainties that gives me anxiety, but at the same time makes life interesting. I'll just continue talking to you at home. Now that we are in GCQ, restrictions are now easing out. Pero kailangan pa rin natin maging maingat because, alam mo yun, uh, another wave might come out of it and hindi natin afford to have another lockdown. I know it's time to move forward but before I think too much of the future, I just wanted to look back muna on the events that happened to me during this lockdown and para lang I have this parang moment in time where I could rewatch this video to look back and tingnan ko kung ano talaga yung mga nangyari for me that I'm grateful for during this lockdown. I guess everyone was so anxious to start because we don't really know how hard our country is gonna get hit. And siguro yung inisip natin, are we gonna get hit like how Italy was hit? Will our family get infected by the pandemic? And one of the things that I'm really grateful for so far was nobody in my family or nobody close to me has suffered from the pandemic. Uh, not health-wise, diba? So yun, I'm, I'm just really grateful for and I'm hoping din na to everyone who's watching. Uh, sana your family will stay safe and nobody will, nobody close to you will, will contract this virus. We have a neighbor just two houses away from our home and they lost their dad during uh, the lockdown due to COVID. And nung narinig namin yung balita na yun last April, we really felt how serious things really are. And uh, he left two kids, one is already in college and one is in high school and yung wife niya. My thoughts go to the people that's been badly affected by the pandemic. You just couldn't really imagine how tough or how stressful it was for the people who's going through it. Just sa mga nagpapagaling sa hospital na you're fighting through your life for this disease and hindi makadalo yung family mo to give you moral support kasi nga it's, it's an infectious disease. And also to the family kasi ang hirap din nun na not be able to visit yung relative mo, yung kamag-anak mo and not getting updated all the time kung kamusta na ba yung kamag-anak mo. So, I do really empathize with the people that has been badly affected by this pandemic. Moving on, another thing that I'm really uh, grateful for was I was still able to continue keep doing what I'm passionate about. I was still able to keep doing YouTube videos. Somehow, it keeps my mind off the things that's happening and it makes me feel productive that somehow I'm still progressing in my life kahit nasa bahay lang ako. I acknowledge that it is a privilege and I hope people don't take it negatively. Uh, we are all dealt with different set of cards in our hands. Yung iba, swerte. Yung iba, hindi ganun kaswerte. I just hope na we just make the most out of it and hope for the best. One of the moments that I'm really grateful for was uh, I was able to spend some quality time with my family and we play my card games. I do collect card games and I love playing card games with other people because it's fun and it's an interactive way of interacting with other people. That's one of my pastimes with my friends so it was a special moment to play my card games with my family. Another thing that I'm really grateful for during this lockdown was my high school batchmates. For me, this one is the most surprising of all. Our high school batchmates got back together during this lockdown. Not physically, but through Zoom meetings, through Facebook chat rooms. So it's digital. But the reason why it was a surprise para sa akin because our high school batchmates never really hang out. It's been 10 years since we graduated from high school, so it's already a decade. And out of the 10 years, there's only one time, only one time that we hang out. Video, video, video. Video lang, video. boy? Na magkakasama kami after we graduate. 
And I thought that was the first and last time na mangyayari yun. It's already two years ago and I thought it was it. Hindi na masusundan to. So what happened ngayong lockdown is we have one batchmate and nag-set siya ng Zoom meeting. And surprise, surprise, madaming umaten dun sa Zoom meeting. So it was it was really a surprise para sa akin. And nung simula, I, was, uh, I find it really weird kasi I don't really know how to act around them kasi there's a lot of things that ha that changed sa akin since nung high school kami and sa kanila din so it was it was really weird nung una para sa akin alam mo yun when you're with your old friends you tend to act kung paano kayo magsama-sama dati for me kasi I felt really distant to my old self I find myself very boring noon compared to who I am now so ayun after some time I was able to manage how to carry myself and the Zoom meetings went really well. That's why I was so surprised. Yung iba pa nga sa amin, umabot yung usapan nila from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. and nagkaroon pa yung mga succeeding Zoom meetings. That's why it was really a success and surprise, surprise, our batch get reconnected surprisingly during this lockdown. Siguro been consistent having these meetings every week or every other week and umabot na kami sa point ng usapan na para may talks na that some of our batchmates uwi sila yung mga nasa overseas and we're going on a trip next year which I'm really looking forward to. I know we are all waiting to move forward and kating kating na tayong lumabas. But before we fully embrace the new normal, I think somehow it's really good to look back on the good things that came out of this lockdown. I'll end this video with a phrase that really stuck with me. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you might just miss it. Yep. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. <laughs>